All right, cool. I'm not mad at that. Um, but anyways, let's move on. Let's talk um, your, you know, your favorite team, your favorite player. Um, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ooh. Go Ooh. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Look, look, look. See, one thing is amazing how much better a team looks when an all-star comes back. The one thing, after they made a trade, they got out to, I think, what, they won, like, four straight games out the gate. Then they kind of slipped back. I think what we all had to realize and what nobody realized was you have an all-star missing. Kevin Love is a perennial all-star. Kevin Love is a Hall of Famer. Damn it. Kevin Love is a first battle I mean, Hall of Famer. to be fair, to be fair, looking at the, looking at the losses, um, you know, they had before Kevin Love came back. Like, they lost to, like, the Lakers and the Clippers. And the Nuggets and the 76ers. Like, those are decent teams. They, they've only beaten the Suns, the Bulls, the Bucks, the Raptors, and the Suns and the Nets in their past, like, 10 games. Two like, good wins. That's not two good you wins. Beat the best team two out of 10? Two out of 10? Two out of 10? You beat the best two team. Two out of 10. Two out of 10. You beat the best team. Two out of 10. And only, and only, and only two of your wins was against teams with, um, um, with above 500 records. You beat the best and then, team. And then before that, it was the Nuggets. You beat and then the, you beat the Pistons. Away. Come hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You beat the best team in the East with people being in and out of your lineup your coach gone Tyloo at home because he's stressed whatever the hell wrong with Tyloo yo yo prayers for Tyloo yo yeah, yeah. yo prayers, prayers for Tyloo yeah, yeah seriously prayers for um, Tyloo prayers for Tyloo can come back get healthy come back um because man like I don't again I don't want to jump off the um Toronto Raptors bandwagon mm-hmm. I don't want to jump off but Cleveland looks re- bro I didn't even see no LeBron isolation today I swear to God <laughs> I didn't see no LeBron James isolations. I, I, I Did was you wa- see him dribble the ball I was for more than like 15 seconds at all? You want to know what's crazy? I was watching the game, but I legit was not paying attention to the Cavs. I was actually watching the Nets. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So like I so like so like I saw I remember Rodney Hood made a good play when he hit a three. Mm-hmm. Rodney Hood brought a lot of energy. Um, I, I felt like LeBron kept trying to feed Larry Nance the ball, but he was kind of you know even when he threw that pass when he gave him the, yeah. you know when he threw that high alley oop like he was a little bit. But LeBron was still going crazy that dagger three like Insane. like that Bron shot. Is that an efficient shot for Bron? Oh, no, exactly. No, because when he shot it, I'm like, what are you doing? Exactly. And then when it went in, I'm like, and like, then when it went in, I'm like, I'm like, that's like, Bron now. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I. That's Bron now. Um. Over the last five games, the Cavs lead the league in offensive rating. Five games? Yes. Over the five-game win streak, they lead the league in offensive rating, and Corver isn't back, and Jeff Green is out. Okay. They've had Jeff, Green not, Jeff Green not getting valuable minutes in the playoffs. I don't I don't think he is either, but Corver will. Yeah, Corver. Corver yeah. will. Yeah, you're right. Yo, shout out to Kyle Corver. Um, you know, you know, prayers up for your um yeah. you know, your family. Um, you know, he lost his brother. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, you know, you know, hopefully you take your time with your family, get back. Um, you know, you know, prayers for Kyle Corbin and his family. Um, um, but go ahead. One thing that Cleveland still doesn't do well is guard the three point line. They still don't guard the three point line well, which is why in the second half the Nets made a little bit of a run because in the first half it wasn't like they weren't getting shots today. Mm-hmm. They were getting shots because weren't knocking them down. Joe Harris hadn't turned into prime. Well, no, Joe Harris turned into prime Ray Allen all game. Joe Harris was on a revenge tour. Joe Harris was on a fucking revenge tour. Besides when LeBron crucified him, he was on a revenge tour. So they still don't really guard the three point line well, mm-hmm. but yo, I even love the lineup that they that they um start now with Jose Calderon and um George Hill. George Hill yeah, you've been saying for months that you thought Jose Calderon should have been um started. Bro, you know George. I mean, um Calderon is shooting fifty percent from the field and forty percent from um three this year. Granted, it's only been in if he was hitting more free throws. I think he's hitting about seventy six percent of his um free throws right now. If he was hitting more free throws, he'd be having a um fifty forty ninety season. Like he just works those those two ball handers with Bron allow allows Bron to play off ball more and I like when LeBron plays off ball more I don't like when he sits there and dribbles the leather off the ball for 24 seconds I hate when he does that I like when LeBron plays off ball more even the uh because what what you get is remember the play when Bron set a screen for um Hill and then yeah. he came and like caught the lob you yes. get plays like that you give Bron a chance to use his walking mismatch I don't of himself you, you, and you know what. Even with George Hill in the game, like, he was just dribbling the ball. And I'm just like, bro, pass the ball. Dribbling the ball. I'm like, bro, pass the ball. Dribbling the ball. I'm like, bro, pass the ball. Dribbling the ball. I'm like, bro, pass the ball. Shot clock got down to three seconds. Then he took a bullshit this shot. And I'm like, bro, why didn't you pass the ball? I don't mind George Hill doing that, though, because George Hill is really a combo guard. George Hill isn't really a true point guard. He's more of a combo guard, but he's like the perfect type of point guard to play with. Yes, but then everybody is just standing still, which is why you have a game where it's competitive versus the Brooklyn Nets until the final two minutes of the game. I disagree. The Nets are always pretty competitive against the Cavs, like always. The Nets are competitive against most people. 
people, yes, but, but but especially mm-hmm, the Cavs, I, especially the Cavs, especially the Cavs. Um, even even you know Tristan 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 off the bench. D Lo was kind of mid today. He was. D Lo kept getting fouls over early. It was like the dumbest fouls ever. It was like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, D Lo has to doing? just like. He just gotta get older, man. Pretty like much. legit, D'Lo just gotta get older. Like he legit just gotta get older. Like I, I, I try to get mad at D'Lo, but then he'll do, a, you know, but then he'll do something like at the end of the game when it was like within ten, I think he caught the ball and then like took one dribble and then splashed the three. And I called it like the moment he shot, I was like cash, and he made it. And I was like, damn, like D'Lo, he can make, he makes big shots, so he'll be all right. He just gotta, like he plays another ball, like but you just, he just has to eventually like grow out of that. He's, he's a kid, like get a man a chance. Like yeah. people are always trying to like you know, you know, kill this team like this. Brooklyn Nets team has a good future. Like these young dudes can ball, and I legit feel like you know D'Lo and Spencer Dinwiddie can be like you know CJ and um um and Dame. So you know I get it why they play teams tough. But if you the Cleveland Cavaliers, you should be beating that living hell out of no, the Nets. Not down all the way until the end of no, the fourth quarter. Be. They were down all no, the way up until be. the end of the fourth quarter. No, you shouldn't be. Okay. Joe Harris came out and they gave you 34. If Joe Harris scores, scores, scores 34, you in the game. The bitch was like plus. The I don't fact know what that game. you gave up Joe, you think you think old school Braun would have would have gave up 30 to Joe Harris? Yes, because it wasn't Come LeBron. Come on, man. Ball. It wasn't LeBron. Come on, ball. man. Old school Braun let Jason Terry and Jay Z Berea send him to hell. So yes. <laughs> Probably yes. Soft. And I'm gonna again, have to change my rankings. And, and, and actually, and, I might have to change my rankings, and, man. And I'm again, changing my rankings. Again, Let's go. They still don't guard the um, three point line well, but yo, I'm just really excited about what I see from this Cavs team. Again, the lineup change they made with Cowder on Hill. Um, I'm assuming that Nance will still be starting even when um, Jeff Green comes back. But the um, lineup of Calderon if, if, Hill. Look, look, look. If, Je- if Jeff Green comes back and Jeff Green starts instead of Larry Nance, I'm not watching none of the Cavs playoff games. <laughs> Literally. I do not want to see Jeff Green on the floor bricking threes. Like, yeah. no, I don't. Yeah. No. He, um, he, he, he's the same as I thought Derrick Williams was last year when you told me he was going to be a decent part in the playoffs. No, 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 no. And Philly is on your ass, so no. Yeah. Philly is on your ass, so no.